Innovation, collaboration, education. That's what I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to talk about it in context of 650 California, the future home of Thornton Tomasetti in San Francisco. You can see here the project is 34 stories, and we're taking the 14th floor, and we're taking the full floor. It has incredible views. It feels like you're really in San Francisco. We can see expanses, vast expanses. It's, it's really wonderful. And you can also see we're on the edge of Chinatown. We're near the Transamerica building. It's really a wonderful location. It's 15,000 square feet, and we're taking the full floor. The building is architecturally significant, and you can see the floor-to-ceiling windows, they're recessed into a concrete grid. So when you walk into the space, the windows really tell a story about the building. Working with, CB working with CBRE, we looked at over 15 spaces. John Abruzzo and I and two others on, uh, on our team put a lot of miles on looking at, these pro looking at different projects. Ultimately, 650 California was selected because of its location, its abundance of natural daylight, and the fact that it's already a lead for existing buildings gold certification. That was a significant decision in our um, choosing this project. The building was designed by Edward Charles Bassett of SOM in 1964, and at that time it was the tallest building in California, replacing the Rust Building and Los Angeles City Hall. You can see what we saw today, we have come a long way in almost 50 years. Innovation. We've heard a little bit about that today. What does innovation mean to Thornton Tomasetti? I'm asking, I asked that question to you. What does it mean to Thornton Tomasetti? Who would like to answer that? Yes. Improve on a better on an existing idea. Improving on an existing idea. What else does innovation mean to Thornton Tomasetti? Who else? John. So striving to move forward, separating ourselves from our, the competition. Any other? What else, what else is innovation to Thornton Tomasetti? What was that, Manny? Thinking out, of the box. Thinking out of the box. Anybody else? Yes. Being ahead of the game. Being ahead of the game. Exactly. So how are we doing that on this project? We have, been, we have now an office standard of doing lead gold for our projects, and that's been really wonderful. For this project, we're going to strive for lead platinum. But not only that, we are going to be using what's called lead version 4, which is a rating system that hasn't even been launched yet. It's being launched this summer. We're one of only 90 projects worldwide and the only project in San Francisco that will be using lead v4. That will set us apart and show our leadership in the sustainability arena. Collaboration. Collaborative team effort. That's a high priority, not only for how we're working as a team, but also for our office space. We have engaged a lot, many, many TT staff on this process, everything from picking the furniture to identifying how much personal storage space is needed. And by the way, we're in very early design, which is why I don't have any designs to show you yet. We've had test fit outs, and that's about it. But we're going to be moving forward very quickly. Our lead designer is Gensler, and we've also just selected a contractor, a local contractor, BCCI, who has done many uh, lead platinum uh, and, and TI tenant improvement projects. We're also collaborating in the way we're designing the office space. At this point in time, we have no private offices, and I know some of you have very strong feelings about that. We're going for it at this point, and we're going to see how this works. But what that means is a change of culture, and hopefully in the next few months we'll be working on that as well. We're also going to be adding uh, small informal meeting places designed throughout the space for gathering. We're going to have small focus private rooms for people who need some privacy. So we're really trying to address how to be collaborative and also support people who need some privacy. We're going to have an informal sitting area, more like a living room, where people can have meetings and not feel like they're sitting at a, at a desk or a table. And you can see the incredible team. By the way, we're in a Tishman Spire building. They're clients um, of ours. They really been, have been great clients. And uh, it's really uh, wonderful to be in one of their buildings. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And that's what we're trying to do on this project. We're trying to help educate ourselves and help educate our clients on what sustainability is. 
And we have not figured it out yet, and we'd love some feedback. We're, could be everything from a kiosk when you get off the elevator to um, meters to show real-time usage. We're, in, we're, in the, we're discussing that right now. And there's been a real commitment at T with the hiring of Lee Myers, the chief learning officer, and we just want to carry that theme throughout the new space. We'll be using this building as a teaching tool. So three themes, innovation, collaboration, education. They're all values that TT Thornton Tomasetti holds near and dear to your heart and also near and dear to my heart. This was a charrette that we did a few weeks ago, and you can see lots of creativity going on here, lots of images, the art of storytelling. Is it edgy? What's the, what are the sustainability aspects of it? We're really working as a team. We're trying to be in, innovative, and we're trying to address ways to educate. Well, I'm the new kid on the block, although looking at this group it doesn't quite look like it. <laughs> and the fact that I was born when this building was put up that year. So if you can start calculating in your head. But I am the new kid on the block in terms of working at Thornton Tomasetti. And it, it makes me feel really wonderful to be part of something where we do have very, the same values and really looking at all these three things, innovation, collaboration, and education. Thank you. <laughs>